What's up, world? It's your boy LA coming to you with another real life shit segment. Just sitting here talking with my homeboy, man, talking about some sports and shit. So, y'all gonna uh, tune in to what we're talking about. What the fuck was I talking about? I was talking about, uh, oh, with, with, uh, with LeBron and, you know, see, man, a lot of people don't understand, man, that, uh, when, when DeMar DeRozan was with Toronto, he kept them at the top of the East. The only other team over there that can really fuck with them was, uh, was LeBron team. So, LeBron, uh, DeRozan couldn't get over that hump because the pieces that was around him wasn't good enough to match up with the pieces that LeBron had around him. And plus, by LeBron being on the floor. Which led to his championships because he didn't win them by himself. Right. You know what I'm saying? But when DeRozan was with Toronto, they always gave uh, you know LeBron problems. Even though they might have swept them sometimes, and, you know, just beat them, you know, by a certain margin mm-hmm. of games. But DeRozan in Toronto always gave LeBron problems. Mm-hmm. Now, let's look at something. So, if DeRozan kept a team afloat for the past Six, seven years, they pretty much been good. You know what I'm saying? They've been in the mix of everything over there in the East, right? If this man pretty much carried that team, dog. So when Kwai went over there, Kwai just, it's like Kwai fell into a great situation. You know what I'm saying? He just elevated them because he played lockdown defense. At that time, DeRozan didn't have lockdown defense. You know what I'm saying? When he was with Toronto. Right. The one thing I kept telling people, man, we getting we getting some we getting a blessing in return, man. You know what I'm saying with DeRozan. True enough, neither one of them went to the places that they probably wanted to go to. But uh, with DeRozan, we got a blessing, man, because we got a shooting guard slash small forward. He can play both positions. He's very quick. You know what I'm saying? He's quick off the dribble. Uh, he's very patient. Right. He's a different type of player than LeBron. LeBron pretty much, he uses his force because he big. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're talking about 6'8", 240, 50 pounds, somewhere in there. Instead of using skills, just use your work. Yeah, yeah. So and I'm not saying LeBron ain't got skills, but his skills don't match what the Rosen has. But if anything, with LeBron being a vet and everything, you ever think of the concept of, that through his experience that he had, like earlier we talking about experience versus talent, right? Mm-hmm. But like on an experience note with LeBron, right? Any chance you might even think of it on a note of through that experience, you just use your weight to play lazily so that you ain't got to go ahead and use straight talent. You get what I'm saying? Well, I mean, at first, like when, when LeBron first came in the league, I mean, he had, you know, he got he got talent. He got talent all the way around. You know what I'm saying? The dude a smart ass dude. But <laughs> let's 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 be real. I mean, no 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 team has really been able to do what the Spurs did, bro. You know what I'm saying? LeBron had to team up with other stars. In order to win the championship. Like, he has never been the focal point to where he's carried the team. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Let's, I mean, let's look at the teams. Uh, we'll go to the Heat. He teamed up with uh, uh, with Wade and Bosch. It's two superstars from uh, two, with two other teams. Yeah. Now, let's go from, let's go to, back to Cleveland. All right? When he went back to Cleveland, he said, I can't do it by myself. You know, he couldn't just have Kyrie Irving. He had to have Kevin Love, too. Mm-hmm. 
So you had two other superstars around him again. Let's, uh, so he won his three championships with two different teams. All right. I mean, people need to start looking at this. It's like Stephen A. Smith, they they need to start pointing this shit out. Uh, <clears throat> who else? Um, Shannon Sharp. Skip Bayless I always pointing shit out because he don't like LeBron. <laughs> he don't, mm-hmm. and, and I feel him. You know, LeBron gonna always be my dude, man. But I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell it like this: this real life shit. And he has never won a championship without a perennial superstar around him, right? So let's go to the Spurs. Uh, we won it with one superstar, and the reason I say that is because when we got Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan had to grow with the Spurs. Not that long, you know, because we drafted him in 97. And let me see. We drafted him in 97. We won it in 99. The season was real short. So let's let's look at some shit. David Robinson was old. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he was past his prime. Okay. Uh, there were no other superstars on the Spurs squad at that when we had Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan was our lone superstar. You see what I'm saying? And still to this day, he's our lone superstar. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah, when Kwai was with us, bro, Kwai was not a superstar yet. Kwai just became a fucking superstar because they weren't even putting him in superstar status when he was with the Spurs. You know what I'm saying? So he was not a superstar because he wasn't even averaging over 20-something. I think he was averaging like... Right around 20 to 22. You know what I'm saying? Be somewhere around in there. So that's about the average amount. Yeah, something like that. But it was, see, it was 10 other superstars averaging more than him. You see what I'm saying? So, no, nah, you weren't even in the category. Right. So they, they, they tried to throw LeBron, I mean, throw, throw Kawhi up there in the midst of, you know, top five. Mm-hmm. Just, you know, since he been with, uh, since he was with Toronto for this season. You know, to build and do build his name up a little bit more because they know LeBron finna, you know, pretty much retire. So here it is. You got Kawhi went to the Clippers. He said, "Man, I need another superstar with me." Now he's doing what LeBron did. See, Kawhi knows. All right, Kawhi knows. He know what he know what team is over there. Because he's seen what's to happen to the Warriors. Everybody know the Warriors ain't finna be too much shit no more. They ain't got no defense. I'm just gonna be real. Like you asking Draymond, Draymond Green to play defense on the other team's best player. Kerry is not that good at defense, and D'Angelo Russell. You probably have to get on your knees and beg that nigga to play defense. Like, come on, man. So. You say, uh, the Warriors ain't going to be too much shit for real. You know what I'm saying? They, they ain't going to be an high team. They going to be back down to a mediocre team, man. They going to win probably like around about 40-some games. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of other teams that's better than them. But uh, I don't see them breaking no 50-margin 50, 50 games. And, nah, not this season. Uh-uh. 50 margin? Yeah, 50-game. 50, 50 a 50-game season. 50-win game season. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Uh... I don't think they're going to do that. I think the Lakers are going to be somewhere around in that margin because they going to be nice. They got a lot of defense, uh, but they don't have a lot of shooters. That's going to be a problem. Uh, then you don't have a lot of good ball handlers. So, you know, with with, with the Lakers, it's, and, and, and going back to, you know, with the with DeMar DeRozan, you know, going against LeBron, because that's going to be, it's going to be between them and uh, the Clippers. That we gonna end up facing in the uh, Western Conference Championship. I want, the, I I really want the Lakers. I think it's gonna fuck around and be the Clippers somehow, but I would rather have the Lakers, you know, because they already put them on the pedestal since they got AD and uh, you know LeBron together. So, like I said, Kawhi, he knew that he couldn't go to the to, to the West and not bring another. Superstar with. I, I, I got one question. What? What you think gonna happen with the Spurs this season? We winning the championship. 
You believe that? I believe that in my heart. I, I only, put it like this. Only way we won't win is if we have a significant injury to one of our players. Okay. That's, that's the only way, bro. You know what I'm saying? But still, we loaded. We the most loaded team in the NBA, bro. A lot of motherfuckers not seeing that shit. See, everybody's going off the perennial names of uh, LeBron, AD, Westbrook, Harden. Uh, you know, those those household names. They going off of the teams, you know, that got the big time players. Kyrie Irving with Brooklyn, shit like that. Man, I, man, you didn't just name instead of stats and what's going on. Man, you didn't just what they did, man. I'm like, uh, this is what y'all, this is what y'all gonna put against us. Like, are y'all serious, motherfucker? Y'all would have been better off trying to keep this shit, nigga, with three superstars on one team. Cause now you didn't, you didn't brought teams back down to the to our level. <laughs> Two superstars? That's what you finna come at us with? We done ended that shit with Shaq and Kobe. Yeah. Well. That was the best duo we ever faced. Well. You see what I'm saying? The the best trio we ever faced was Wade, Bosh, and uh uh LeBron. So That's I mean, what else y'all gonna what what else these motherfuckers gonna throw at us? Like, please tell me, man. Like, what you were saying with the schedule? So, they to throw everything they got. Oh yeah. So, newsflash, Spurs fans, man, why they go and give the Spurs damn near the hardest schedule in basketball? Go look at our fucking schedule, all the way through, not just from the first ten, twenty games. All we play probably about six week teams this year. I say week because. You know, they from coming from the bottom. But even they going to be, you know, a little bit tough. You know what I'm saying? But still, I got to put them as the weak teams versus the mediocre teams and the top teams. Nigga, we play all the teams that got all the good players this season. Yeah. Please go look at our fucking schedule. They trying to stick it to us. They trying to say, they trying to make sure. Spurs fans, are y'all hearing me? They trying to make sure we don't win the championship, man. They like, "Uh uh-uh. We got to make it a hard road. So you know what? That's only going to make us better, man. That's only going to make us better. But like I said, DeMar DeRozan is now with a team, bro. Were instead of it being a bunch of players around him that can just ball, now you got a coaching staff that know how to teach you how to ball. Right, and you got the players around you that really know how to ball. You see what I'm saying? Because it's the it's the uh, cohesiveness that we got together, bro. Because if you got LaMarcus Aldridge, that's really like our anchor piece. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? LaMarcus Aldridge is the anchor. Like, he he's, he's carrying the team, for real, for okay. real. You know what I'm saying? Lamar, uh, I mean, uh, DeMar DeRozan, he's like now uh, a, a big-time piece to drive. He's like he's like the driving force, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, that's the way it's going to be. You know, it, it like, we all know... DeJounte Murray going to be the point guard. We know that. Mm-hmm. But let's be real, y'all. We know the driving force of this team is going to be DeMar DeRozan. He is going to be the driving force for us. DeJounte Murray is going to be the X Factor because he's back with a vengeance. Uh, LaMarcus Aldridge is our anchor, man. Without him, we nothing. I'm going to tell you how that now. A lot of people may bag on on, on L.A., but I'm going to tell you how, man. Without L.A., we are nothing. That's just like ha- not having Tim Duncan. When Tim Duncan got hurt a season, we, we made it to the playoffs, but we got oust. LaMarcus Aldridge is our anchor, man, for 
those out, out there that don't want to believe that. But yeah, that's how I do. So, the way Pop has built this shit, boy, 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 boy. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. He say, look, I'm going to have a dominant big man and a dominant wing man. Hmm. Now, let's go to the matchup of AD versus L.A. We all know who wins that matchup, man. Come on, man. Y'all know AD can't fuck with L.A. Like, he just got more athleticism than him, man. Don't say he's a better shooter. Please don't do that. Please, please don't do that. Let's just stick with what's real. AD has more athleticism than L.A. So he can move better. That's it. But let's not forget L.A. can move too. And the boy, no, not boy, the grown man. He didn't got in some grown man shape, my nigga. Did you, have y'all seen Aldridge this season? Like, look at him. He didn't, he didn't toned up. He Look, man, we got Aldridge, DeRozan, Damari Curl, Rudy Gay, They were, uh, they were all big time vets for our team that has not won a championship. Y'all don't think that they finna be hungry? And then you got a, 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 a you got a young core that's ready to win now. They like fuck later. Like Lonnie Walker and company and, and, and DJ now. Brandon Forbes and White, they ready to win now. You see what I'm saying? Like, Keldon Johnson, Witherspoon, and some of these, they trying to just fit in right now. And I'm going to tell you all something, man. A lot of y'all, man, or I know a lot of y'all don't like Chimizzy Metu, man. I know that. But, man... Give Pop time with him. Just, man, if he, if Pop don't get rid of him, I really want them to work on Chimizzy Matt too, man. Beef him up a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Damn, my shoulders hurt. Oh, my back hurt. Everything hurt. <laughs> but, man, if y'all can beef, if the Spurs put a little bit more muscle on Chimizzy Matt too, man, I want y'all to just do me this favor. Just please, man, go look at his highlights. And and see, you know, we all know he got flaws on defense. We know that. That can be fixed. That can be fixed. I'm telling you. You don't just throw good players away, man. He's a good player. He just needs some work. If Pop do not throw him to the wolves, if he start utilizing Chimizzy Metu and tell him he got to coach him up for real. I mean, like, if that was me, I would be straight telling him, Metu, like, I'm going to give you some clock. When I give you this clock, I want you to go out there and ball. By all means necessary, I want you to ball. I want you to stay within the plays, but I want you to be aggressive. If he can turn Chimizzy Metu away, a uh, loose man, I guarantee you that your Mizzy Metu going to be a problem for any damn power forward slash small forward in the league to guard. He's very quick on his feet. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes on defense he get confused. But if you sign him to, hey, stay up under that rim and protect that rim, he will be a damn good shot blocker for us, man. And he'll be a damn good rebounder for us because he can jump. The boy can jump. Man, he can jump. So that's why I'm saying, man, we got to stick with Chimizzy Matu because I do not want to see him go anywhere else and be good. I don't want to see that, man. I don't want to see that. 
Because I'm telling y'all, man, Shemizzy Metu with a little extra work from Popovich and, 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 and Tim Duncan now, he going to be a problem. And y'all going to come back to this video and be like, man, you was right. All he needed was a little bit more work up under Popovich. Give him a little bit more time, man. He going to be a problem because I look around the league, man. I look around the whole league. And I look at backup, power forward, small forward. Then I look at the starters and, you know, that shit. And I look at their dimensions, all that shit, man. I'm going to tell you right now, man. If Popovich work on this dude and turn him into a 50-50 dude, it ain't going to be a motherfucker that can stop him because he can shoot. You see what I'm saying? He can rebound. He can, he can block shots. He just got to get his defense up. That's it. And his and, and 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 think quick, you know, like his reaction time be slow. I think I think that if uh Tim Duncan worked with Chimizzi Metu one on one this season in practice, all that shit, I think our bigs is gonna be a problem for all teams. Come on, man. We got the best power forward to ever play the game teaching our bigs. Come on, man. They going to get better. They can't do nothing but get better. Like, I know y'all see this shit. So I'm really not worried about these other teams, for real, man. I'm I, I'm not saying I just blatantly disrespect them. I just look at the matchups, man. I don't see no team that fully matches up with us. Yeah, the Lakers got AD and LeBron. Yeah, the Clippers got Kawhi and Paul George. Yeah, the Rockets got Harden and Westbrook. But after that, who else is there? So, that's three teams right there that got some of the best players in the game on their team, and they all in the West. I ain't even went to the East. Y'all know why I ain't went to the East? Because I'm not worried about what whatever team that comes out that East, we're beating. You see what I'm saying? Our main focus is the West. That's our focus. The West. The Western Conference. Any other team, I'm not disrespecting them, man. Some good teams in these. But let's re let's be real. If any of them teams come out these, we're gonna beat. Very badly. And so the three teams I just named, what problems is they going to cause for us? I had to get my Obama on for a minute. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm ready to tell y'all, man. DeMar DeRozan is in a situation to where he can win multiple championships. The Marcus Aldridge is in a situation where he can win multiple championships. We're going to keep this nucleus together, okay? And we're just going to add to it. We're going to subtract. We're going to add. We're going to subtract. We're going to add. You see what I'm saying? Whichever, whichever players is about to retire or they just feel like they want to move on, Hey, we got a motherfucking squad, man. We got a damn good squad. So, I look for the Spurs, man, to wreak havoc on, on all these teams that they didn't put on our schedule, trying to make it hard for us to get to the motherfucking finals. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool.
And, you know, Spurs got our ass beat. We got our ass beat against the Magic. Not worried about that. We not finna show nobody our strategies. We take that ass whooping. That's a strategy. Let motherfucking teams know, like, hey, look, we weak. We can't beat nobody. We look, at what, look at what happened to us in preseason. We got our ass whooped. Yeah, so teams can be like, okay, yeah, the Spurs not looking too good. They looking weak. Yeah, we can get them. <laughs> I should even say it this shit, man. I'm up here fucking my team strategy up. God damn. I, man, shit. But it don't matter. Because y'all still don't know what we going to come with. We going to come with some shit where motherfuckers going to be like, hey, man, just forfeit the game. We coming, man. I told y'all we was coming. Basketball is back, motherfucker. Yeah, sure, bitch. Motherfucking basketball is back. Spurs is back. Go squad. That's what we on, man. That's what we on. Anybody standing our way, that's what they finna face. A goon squad. Spurs, baby. One love. I can't wait till I get my motherfucking tattoo. It's your boy LA. I'm out. Peace.